In many districts across Western New York, come September, students will be returning to some level of classroom instruction. But the school day will certainly be very different from any other year. And good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. All right, so what can parents do now to get ready? Tweeting aside, Jackie Roberts joins us tonight with a few tips. Natasha Wechter sees back to school season from two perspectives as a mom and as a teacher. And she knows the uncertainty can be overwhelming. I think the biggest thing I would tell parents, honestly, is to have patience with your kids. She says now is the time to start having those conversations about the changes ahead, so the return isn't as jarring. The more we talk to our kids and familiarize them with what's happening, the less scary it becomes. Looking at this from a medical perspective, Dr. Thomas Russo agrees. I think it's also critical to uh, teach your children about the concept of physical distancing. Dr. Russo says over these next few weeks, parents should find masks that their children feel comfortable wearing for longer periods of time and practice doing so. He says it's also important parents remind their children not to share objects as they return to school. I think that would be less of an issue with books or pens and pencils, but I think the one thing they're all going to be tempted to share or pass to others is their phone, to show them pictures from the summer or a video or something. Uh, it's okay to share that with them, but have them hold the phone and just turn it so their friends can see it and try to maintain distance as best as possible. And what about the mental health aspect of this? The best thing that a parent can do to support their child during this is, number one, to take care of themselves and manage their own feelings about the situation um, and talk to your kids. Um, you know, talk to them about what to expect when they return to school as they receive the reopening plans for their school. Give their child some information. And as parents prepare for that first day of school, Wechter says it's important to remember they're not alone. We're all on the same team, which is do what's best for our kids. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.